Hi, in today's video lesson, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Java to write a simplified craps game. Uh, by simplified, I mean it's simply going to be the player versus the house. There are no side bets. There are nobody else at the table. It's just you and the, the dice. The rules we're going to follow are these. Um, what about what's called a come out roll? The first roll, you roll 2, 3, or 12, you lose. 7, 11 causes you to win. Any other value is the points. Um, once you get the points, you then do subsequent rolls where you keep trying to get the points. Every time you roll after this, you're trying to roll with the point that you established in the come out roll. Um, if you roll a seven, you lose. Anything else is ignored, you just keep looping around. So I'm going to start promoting this come out roll, and we're then going to um, mess with the subsequent rolls. I already have some stuff set up here. I have the bank, which is the money, money you start with. You're going to bet 10 bucks every time you play. The points where I try to establish. I'm using Java Unit Random here as my random because I like the way it looks. And I got my total above. First row is a function. It's called here. It's going to establish my point if I get one. So essentially, I'm going to set up here what's going to happen. I'm create a couple variables. So die, d1 value equal die1 dot next int. d2 value is going to be die2. Same thing, next int, 6 plus 1. This will guarantee me between 1 and 6. This is why I like using Java to random. That's a lot cleaner than times 6 mod percent to int and all the other noise you have to do with um, typical math random. All right, so the total is going to equal d1 value plus d2 value. I'm going to print this out. Now I use printf to make it look pretty. Do a quick run and see if this works. Four and four is eight. One three is four. One five is five. Or one four is five. We should be good. Okay, so now I'm going to loop this, and I'm essentially loop it as long as point is not zero. So I'm going to do a do all loop because I want this to run at least one time. The way I've coded this, I could have done this with a while loop. Need a curly brace here. Now make sure I did this right with formats. Yeah, it'll look good. So inside here, I'm going to keep looping as long as point is not equal to zero. Uh, point will not be equal to zero if I don't roll a 7, 11, 2, 3, or 12. Remember our rules. 2, 3, or 12, I lose. 7, 11, I win. Anything else, the point. So I'm going to switch this because the switch really is fun here. Plus, I can use the cool pass through values of switch. So what I'm doing here is case 2, 3, 12. Those are my lose conditions. Now, normally you have a break after cases. This is a slick way to use switches. Um, I know that 2, 3, and 12 are the exact same lines of code, so I simply case it 2, 3, 12, and if any of these numbers roll, this line of code executes. Similarly, first 7, 11. Here it wins, you're going to add to your bets. Any other roll I make will be my point.
So my first roll is going to check for my values. Pronounce. See if this works. Hmm. Okay. So I've got a glitch. Yep, made a mistake here. Figured it out when I displayed my points here. Point not equal to eight or point not equal to zero. I want to say what points equal to zero because that'll force me to loop back around. So let's try this again. There we go. So it's clear. Run it again. Yeah, five and five equals ten. All right, so let's cheat a little bit. Let's see what happens when I get a seven. I always check these ranges. Win, 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 win. Okay, that's what I expected. Uh, two, I should lose, 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 lose. Yep. All right, so. Logic seems to be holding. Okay, so you make your first roll, and we establish the points. So I picked up a loss, picked up a win. I've got my first roll going. Now I need to worry about the second roll. Or the continuing role. All right, the games are going to continue on and do the rolling. I'm going to mimic code I do up here. So since I'm going to mimic code I do up here, I hate copy and pasting code. So I'm going to create a method that does this. It's essentially you can take these lines of code, put them here. Print this out. Don't need this here anymore. Return part. Since total is global or class level, I really don't need to return it, but it's better function to do so. So total world dice, see that my code does the same thing. Hey, I want one. So yes, it's doing the same thing. So now I can use roll dice down here. And the game is going to keep looping while I'm not equal to my point. So I'm similar to loop. Just swallow with this one. Yeah, that's still going to do well. Up. So while well, point not equal to total, I'm going to keep looping. Inside here, I have to roll the dice. And again, according to our logic, if I roll a seven, I lose. If I roll a point, I win. Anything else is ignored. So let's switch that. We could actually if it as well. Actually, ifing is easier here because it's only at care about.
seven new views, unhappy face. I haven't done anything with this bank yet, but I will. So if I might have seen that, I think I used 10 up there as well. I better fix that. Oh, I did it right. Okay. So I'm subtracting off my bets. Everything else I'm ignoring. And when I return here, I'm going to lose a return out because I don't want to keep running. Once I find a seven, I'm done. Might want an else here just to display, hey, you're doing good. A pause might be nice here. So the point 10, the point is 10. Six three was nine. Keep rolling. It's three and six equals nine. Keep rolling. I got three nines in a row. That's impressive. Four and three is of eight. Two and five seven. You lose. All right again. Looks like I won this time. So my else is incorrect. So I need an else if. Also my total is the points. Add the bets. Make a smiley face. Add to my bets. Then I kick out. Excellent. So I win. All right, so I have now first roll done in the gameplay. I have determined whether or not I win or lose using simple if statements in a while. Again, a pause might be nice here. I'm going to do a really cheapy thread dust sleep here. Pause for half a second. It needs to be surrounded by some stuff. Uh, what thread does is just uh, pauses. This is never middle section you pass in. It can cause exceptions, especially where I lost the threads. I'm not going to cause an exception here, so I think this should be safe. Naturally. You see the pause there. So it kind of slows the game down a little bit. I could have also, you know, you know, had you enter a value here, but the thread's a nice quick pause. And the number you pass in is in milliseconds, so 500 is half a second. If you put in like 50,000, you're sitting there a very, 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 very long time. Okay, so now I need to worry about the bank, right? So I now I'm displaying my bank. So did not knock off my bank, it seems. Oh, wow, okay. I must have run a couple times up here. So let's output my bank a few times. So we see, we see when I'm winning or losing. I guess I should put that after I subtract. Fix that above.
right, so it's interesting. Why am I gaining money? Uh, everything's fine. I was just um, being paranoid. Okay, so now let's um, continue playing the game. comment on some of these other bank lines. Just the one inside the game. And now I want to worry about if I want to continue playing. So this will run one time. I now want to continue playing this. So I'm going to set this around view up. Basically building a menu here. I can do this as a string, I can do this as an integer, a whole bunch of ways I can pull this off. I need a scanner line. Fix some imports. Second thing was more case instead of lower here. So I would put yes here. Keep playing with yes. Got my keyboard going on here. At uh, this point, the game's going to run forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and ever again. So I'm going to ask them. If you help me. So I'm going to use a print here instead of print F, so it's on the same line. Unless we have some string input annoyances, this should allow us to keep running and running and running. Now I'll close my keyboard out here so it stops yelling at me. And let's see if this works. Yes. 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 Gain money back, yes. Yes, lost money, yes. Ooh, I'm ahead. No. So I have one. I'm now going to display outs. Do a little thank you here. Let's run it again just for some nice outputs. Do you want to play? Yes. Yes. You're starting to see why they run this game at the casinos. I'm down to 50 bucks. I better go home for more. He me up. So we put together a relatively simple game using if statements, switches, and loops. You, you saw how to use the pass-through variant of switches. You saw how to use another random. You saw me use a function because I rolled the dice, dice twice. It didn't make sense for me to copy the same code down, even though I did copy it. 
and then you saw how to keep playing this game using a while loop. I chose a while loop here because this is how I like to code. I like the test before us, so I will set up that test to guarantee it runs the first time. All right. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, good luck. Have a good day.